Are you a smarmy, officious douchebag and hate people? Or do you just enjoy life a little too much? Do you enjoy listening to the same three commercials being broadcast in a loop approximately 300,000 times a day like Marxist propaganda? Well, there's a place for you here, working at a game store. Hello, everybody. Keith Croft, along with Bobby Payne, bringing you the best of Game Crazy at the Game Crazy Selling Skills Challenge. That's where talent, skills, knowledge, and great value come together to create the ultimate games destination. That's right, Keith. We're going to see some fierce competition out there today. And now, please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Because today's game isn't about scoring points, getting kills, or saving the universe from alien domination. No, Keith, today's game is all about selling. That's right, Bobby, but the kind of selling we're talking about isn't high pressure, some loud, obnoxious pitch. You want that? Go work at GameStop. Identifying needs, building relationships, and maximizing the gaming experience for our guests. And it's all done by focusing on five key selling areas. Bullshit pre-orders, bullshit membership cards, bullshit magazine subscriptions, bullshit service plans, and, uh... So let's go down to the game floor where Zelda Scott will take us through our keys to the game. There's three keys. Always be closing. Oh. Thanks, KC and BP. I'm down here in the his house. You know, the heezy. <laughs> oh, with the GC posse to get the 411 on Game Crazy. Or the Game Crizzle or the local GC. This is like a gamer's ride, dog. And if you sell them the right ride, you got a better chance of selling some 20-inch chrome rims later. Know what I'm saying? Or like selling a grape soda to go with that Popeye's fried chicken. You should talk like me to all the black customers so they know you got mad gangster cred, dog. And speaking of games, Game Crazy's got all the fly new game titles, but we've also got the mad hookup when it comes to used games. And they can't hate on our used games. Because I will straight up bust a cap in your dome. Come with a 90-day guarantee, and they cost less. Booyah! <laughs> now, for the real hardcore players, the ones that are crazy tight with the GC, we've got the MVP card. The MVP card means upfront revenue for Game Crazy. It'll bring in fat ducats. Values, special discounts and exclusive tournaments for the players. Trades are where Game Crazy makes crazy dollars and players can get mad values. Oh my god, even Flava Flav would say he crossed the line with this performance, or he'd be madly in love. And finally, pre-orders. Now this is for the real serious players. The ones who've got to get the new games first and beat them before anyone else. Yeah, you should always push the pre-orders really hard because CDs are notoriously hard to manufacture. They never make enough of them. And they've got a reservation at the hottest game spot in town, Game Crazy. Well, that's it from down on the floor, y'all. Let's kick it back up to my niggas in the booth. Represent! Peace out. Uh... Thanks, Zelda. Someone call human resources. Let's get ready to rumble as we begin the game crazy sales challenge with hardware sales. Our tale of the tape, Ryan's got the reach advantage, but Anne's a cagey veteran I wouldn't count her out. Hi, welcome to Game Crazy. What up, Shorty? Hey, what's this you interested in today? Um... Well, it's my son's birthday, and I'm looking for some video games, but I'm really not sure what he wants. All right, what system does he play? Oh, and here he goes, asking the right questions. He's off to a good start, Keith. And look at Tom back there setting the pick. That customer is wide open. Ryan could go all the way! Sorry, I'm just all brand new to this. No, it's fine. Basically, there's three platforms to pick from. You have an Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and a GameCube. But to figure out which one is right for you, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple questions. So is dad still in the picture or? He's turning 12 and he's in middle school. Okay, and what kind of games does he like to play? His favorite is driving games. All right, how about DVD movies? The critical movie question. Ah, the kids love the movies, Keith. Oh, wait, coach is coming out of the dugout. Looks like they're bringing Hoffman in out of the bullpen to close this deal. How about online play? You know, I'm not so comfortable with that. Well, you know, actually, it's pretty safe and secure, but I understand your concerns. But he did a nice job of keeping things moving. How about friends? Will you have friends over? Absolutely. He has two or three buddies that I know he'd have over. All right, so based on what you're telling me, I'd probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. It has some great racing titles. You can play up to four players at once. You can play DVD movies. And it's got Ridge Racer! Oh, wait, sorry, that joke has expired. I had to go that route. Ah, uh, great suggestion. What a lucky kid. Wow, sounds great. I think that's what I need. Oh, it's a great choice. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is set you up with some accessories, a DVD remote, a wireless controller, and we're going to have to get you some memory cards to get you started. Perfect. Okay. 
And there's the ad. -on. He's really selling the ultimate gaming experience. All right. Let's go down to the floor with Zelda, who's standing by with Ryan. Rye dog, that was the bomb diggity, my friend. <laughs> How'd you do it, dog? Well, Zelda, actually, it was really simple. I just found out what she was looking for. I needed to know who was going to be playing the system, what kind of games her son was going to be playing, what she could afford. Oh, and not talking like a brutally offensive wigger stereotype helped. I suggested the right system with the right accessories, built trust and a relationship, and after that, it was easy. Well, you certainly made it look that way, dog. There you have it. Back to you, KC. Oh, thank you, Zelda. And now, on to our next challenge. When high margins and great values come together, it's used games. These used games are dead. I want the good games, the Glengarry games. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Game Crazy. What can I help you find? Do you guys have that uh, new Madden 2004? Madden fan, huh? Madden, a very popular title. It certainly is, Keith. Yeah, Bobby, you might as well push a used copy of Madden because the series itself hasn't evolved since about 2001. Yeah, I don't know about you. It sounds sketchy. It could be broken. Well, no. You know, our used games play just as well as our new games, and they come with a 90-day guarantee. So if it doesn't play, you just bring it on back to me. Yeah, no, I still don't know. You know what? Why don't we go try it out? What, are you calling me a liar, dipshit? Come over here. Yeah, right. A girl who plays video games. I was buying this up to now, but come on. So, what'd you think? Looks good. I'm hooked on this used thing. Sold! The demo always clinches it. Great. Well, if you like that, I've also got ESPN football used and NCAA Bring football. Bring them on. Zelda, what's her secret? Hey, girlfriend. What's the dilly, yo? Well, Zelda, used games are just a great value. When I told him about his savings and the 90-day guarantee, it just really got his interest. The demo was just to reassure him he was getting a quality product. That was a clincher. Well, big ups to you, girl. That was off the heezy for sheezy. Okay, money? As always, Zelda, you're a lawsuit Zelda. just waiting to happen. And now let's get back to the fundamentals with trades. <laughs> Yes, trades. Instead of learning one, work a game crazy. Okay, so one new copy of Ninja Gaiden. Bet you're going to try to beat this today, huh? Nah, I figured I'd just nail it to a wall and stare at it for a few hours. I usually buy my stuff over at Best Buy, but I figured I'd give you guys a try. A possible big box convert? Hey, now you shouldn't talk about Gale that way. Oh, so you're new to game crazy. Do you know about our whole buy play tray thing? No, what's that? Well, it's really what we're all about. It sounds like you're the kind of guy who likes to beat a game as soon as you get it. So this is perfect for you. You could take all those games that you've already beaten, trade them in. Guest starring Tara Reid is Gale. That you want. I mean, I can take the games I've got at home, bring them in, trade them in, and get new games for less? Your words are strange and unfamiliar to me. What magic is this? I'm definitely coming here to get all my games. Great. Well, in that case, you're definitely going to need an MVP card. MVP? Did I hear that right? Zelda, what's going on down there? You heard it right, k Dog. Gale is getting extremely jiggy with it by going for the MVP. This shit Let's just got real. Happens. So what's the MVP card? Well, the MVP card is our membership card, and it's made for hardcore gamers. It'll save you some serious cash. And it only costs $30. She's gonna have to do the math for him. Well, you know the, all the old games that you have at home? Mm -hmm. You bring them in, and with an MVP card, you get 10% more value for your trade. Oh, baby, that woman is fine. Mm. You want to buy in the store that's used. Okay, so how much is that going to run me? Well, the MVP card is um, it's about 20 bucks. Eh, I don't know. Well, look, you're a serious gamer, so you're already going to spend a lot of cash here. And um, this way, as an MVP, you can buy more and play more. Well, that makes sense, but... Look, Nimrod, are you a hardcore gamer or not? Just buy the fucking card! Exclusive for MVP customers, and we have exclusive game tournaments only for MVP. Exclusive? What, uh, what kind of tournaments? Actually, we have a Soul Calibur tournament coming up this weekend. Soul Calibur. Must resist. All right, you got me. She clinches it with the tournament. This guy is psyched about game crazy. Sign me up for the tournament and give me one of the MVP cards, too. Great. You'll be glad you did. Zelda, she really came up with a big play there. You know it, KC. Give it up, G-Unit. You showed some mad skills there. First with the trades and then the MVP. You go, girl. 
How'd you do it? Well, <laughs> Zelda, men become docile creatures who are highly susceptible to suggestion when offered the chance to play Soul Calibur. Guess about the trading. Once they realize how much farther their gaming dollars go, they never go back to the big box. And that MVP, that was crunk. <laughs> well, the MVP card, I mean, once the guy realized oh how quickly God. it would pay for itself, it was a no-brainer. The guy's a hardcore gamer, so, I mean, it just made sense for him. And the tournament, that put him over the top. True dat, girl. Home slices? Truly spectacular, Zelda. I don't know how you do it, but you managed to find a new way to offend me every time I see you. On to the pre-order. Oh, hey, hello, Tara. Hey, welcome to Game Crazy. Hey, thanks. How's it going? Good. Right on. Uh, you're a Final Fantasy fan, I see. Buy your shirt. <laughs> okay, you could have had Meatloaf right in the door on a unicorn, and it would have been more believable than an actual fan of Crystal Chronicles. Jeez. No, that's okay. I think I'll just come back later. Look, you know how Final Fantasy is. You definitely, definitely want to do this, because you know it's going to sell out. Definitely! You're right. Final Fantasy does sell out pretty quickly. I think I'll do that. All right, it's just $5 down, and we we'll guarantee you one the day it comes out. Oh, I have to put money down? Yeah, but it's only $5. Actually, you're Tara, right? Yeah, that's right. Aren't you an MVP member? Yeah. Oh, all right. What's your phone number? <laughs> oh, Ryan, my man, that was a smooth move, dog. You know, you actually have $17 in trading credit here. All we can do is take $5, roll it right onto Final Fantasy. That way you'll have it in your hands the day that it comes out. The trade credit, I didn't see that coming. A great call, that sealed the deal. Plus he scored the chick's digits, now that is a player. Great, let's do that. All right, and since you like Final Fantasy, we actually just got a copy of Kingdom Hearts traded in. You'll definitely be into this game if you like Final Fantasy. This looks pretty cool. What a move! Ryan knows that few addictions are as easy to exploit as Final Fantasy. Rydog, that trade credit move was the bomb. Zelda, actually it was really no big deal. I knew that she wanted that game in her hands the day that it came out. By pre-ordering, we actually guaranteed that. Knowing her, she'll be in line in a Moogle costume for the midnight launch. You heard it here, fellas. Ryan is slinging the bling bling to get that paper. That's all from here, Casey. This has been Zelda Scott, representing for Game Crazy. Keep it real, Casey. Will do, Zelda. Will do. That concludes the final event for the Game Crazy Challenge. Now let's send it over to Bobby for the post-challenge analysis. No, wait, I'm just getting word that Bobby is filing a civil rights lawsuit against us with the NAACP. Anatomy of the perfect sale. The Game Crazy partners rose to every challenge in every category. How'd they do it? Well, Bobby, it's all about having a game plan and executing the fundamentals. We're talking about getting to know your guests. Offering them loads of overpriced shit they don't want. Demoing the product, adding on pieces to the sale, and finally closing the sale. You want to basically make the guests experience shopping with us a great one. Wow, Gus, that sounds like a lot to remember. Can any game crazy partner do this? Well, Bobby, it's just like getting to the next level in your favorite game. Except that it's not in any way. Let's start off by getting to know your guests. You just don't want to greet them, you want to meet them. Introduce yourself. Personalize with the guest. Um, ask them questions. Ask them what type of games they play. Pester them what constantly. Of, uh, never let up. You know, accessories they use. What they're basically looking for. Um, you know, it's a way to get the conversation started with the guest. And you really see what they're into. Um, and Gail does a great job of it here. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Game Crazy. What can I help you find? Do you sell magic uh, cards? Madden. 2004. Madden fan, huh? So now you start the conversation. You got a little rapport going. Where do you go from here? Now, Bobby, you want to evaluate their needs and recommend the right product. You want to ask try making questions. odd, limp-wristed hand gestures. Systems and skill level. Then you want to zero in on what to really offer them, and then you recommend the right product for them. And Ryan does it like a pro during this hardware sale. Yeah, here, try this game, Daikatana, for the PC. It's going to be the biggest game ever. That? Yeah, that would be great. How about friends? Will we have friends over? Okay, yes, he has friends that come over. What do you want? Probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. What if you've answered all their questions, showed them the product, and they're still not sure? Well, that's where you're going to have to get rough, I'm afraid. Um, whether it's a game, a system, or... Hey, what are you doing? Are you going to buy something or what? what <laughs> Freeloaders. Um, it's a very powerful way to sell, and a lot of other retailers can't really do that. And Gail offers it up right here. Yeah, no, I still don't know. You know what? Why don't we go try it out? Really? Yeah, come cool. play. Ah! Oh, we're just going to play football. Well... My version was cooler. So, what'd you think? Looks good. I'm hooked on this huge thing. Once you got him one more, 
what do you do? That's the perfect time to add on to it, Bobby. Once you've broken them down mentally, you can just squeeze them like a tube of toothpaste. Your ultimate gaming experience complete. That means games, accessories, whatever. Sex toys. It's easy to get them interested in what they want. But now it's up to you, the game expert, to recommend what they really need. Don't disappoint them. Ryan shows us how it was done right here. Basically, That's right, ma'am. Just five dollars down and Duke Nukem Forever will be in your hand on the release date. Gonna have to get you some memory cards to get you started. Perfect. Okay. So, get to know them, evaluate and recommend, demo the product, and add on. Sounds like four simple steps, what's left? Well, don't forget the racial epithets, Bobby. That means I'm um, reinforcing the choices of the guests. Well, of course it's still new. It's okay if we open the shrink wrap, not you. Watch how Gail uses a game tournament to close with a new guest. Actually, we have a Soul Calibur tournament coming up this weekend. Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur's for button-mashing noobs. Real men play Tekken. Give me one of the MVP cards, too. Great, you'll be glad you did. Dilly, 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 I regret my purchase! Well, there you have it, folks. Five easy ways to make the perfect sale to any guest. Back to you, Keith. Thank you, Bobby. Well, that's all for the Game Crazy Selling Skills Challenge. For Bobby Payne and Zelda Scott, I'm Keith Croft saying goodbye, so long, and game on. Game Crazy wishes to apologize for the behavior of Miss Zelda Scott. We're crazy, but not that crazy. I said a hip hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip hip hop. You don't stop rocking to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump that boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, the beat. Well, that's it. Rap's dead. Had a good run. I am rapping to the beat, and me the gr Look, if you just had one shot to embarrass everyone who ever knew you, would you capture it? or just let it slide.